Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about the top 8 best programming languages to learn right now. This list is based off of compensation, job prospects, and easy programming languages to learn. So let's go ahead and get started. At number 8 I have Haskell. Haskell is a functioning, uh, or, sorry, functional programming language. It's really easy to learn. Um, gives you a different way of thinking about programming languages. So maybe I shouldn't say easy, um, but once you learn functional programming language with Haskell, you can transition that to F Sharp or to Erlang, other functional programming languages. It has comprehensive documentation, and a job with this language will most likely pay very, very, very well. So that's why I have Haskell at number eight. At number seven, we have PHP. PHP is a scripting language. Um, it works well with databases, so you'll see it coupled a lot with MySQL. It has a very, very large community, so this means that if you had a problem um, with PHP, more than likely somebody else has had this problem before, and can be easily a solution can be easily found online um, thanks to this big community, and it's been a, around for quite some time as well. So um, next up, we have C++. Now C++ is just like C, so you get that same low level power of C, but with several layers of abstraction with C++. So I would say it's basically a better version of C. Um, you can do imperative, functional, declarative, and object-oriented style programming with this language. And there's a compiler for this language on every major operating system that exists today. So it's a great language to learn considering that you can use it on many, many operating systems. Um, so that's why I have C++ at number six. Next up is Python. I really enjoy Python. Python has a great open source community de for development. Um, it has extensive support for libraries, such as this big topic now called machine learning. So you can use their libraries, such as NumPy and SciPy. It's also very, very easy to learn. I was able to learn it. Well, I don't want to say learn it, but I was able to use it um, for my machine learning project just recently with no previous knowledge of Python. So Python is a great language to learn. Um, oh, one more thing. I suppose I should have mentioned this about PHP before, but PHP was used a lot um, when Facebook first started, and Python has been used a lot with Google. So I just want to throw it out there. So at number four, we have C-sharp. C-sharp is best used with the .NET framework. Um, it uses the Visual Studio IDE, which is considered one of the best IDEs around. I should also note that C++ also uses this IDE. Um, it's cross-platform, meaning that it can be run on multiple platforms. And you can create games with it. So um, you can create games using Unity, which uses C-sharp to create um, desktop games. So, great programming language to learn, very easy, especially if you know C already. I strongly suggest this language. Have it at number four. So, next up is number three, JavaScript. Not much to say here. If you're a web, uh, if you're a web programmer or a web developer, you know JavaScript. JavaScript is everywhere. So, that's all I can say. <laughs> it's very, very speedy. It's client-side. Um, you can even use it for server side if you know JSON. That's JavaScript object notation. And unlike PHP, uh, JavaScript can be inserted into any web page regardless of the file extension. So JavaScript, very good to know for job prospects. Next up is Java. Java is object oriented. Uh, it can be uh, easily ported. So that means that one program can be run on many different platforms. It's very easy to learn, it's similar to C. Um, but what really gets Java its edge is the comprehensive documentation. So anything you want to know about Java can be easily found online through the Java docs, such as their methods or their variables. And that's probably what made Java so popular. So 
Last but not least, we have SQL, and it says for structured query language. It's the standard language to communicate with relational database management systems. It's been around for 30 years. It's pretty much standardized. It's easy to learn. It's like writing a sentence. And now what really gets this language is there's no viable alternative available for speaking to relational database management systems right now. Just SQL is the only one that can do it. So you always have a job if you know SQL. So thank you guys and I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please subscribe um, to my channel CompSci112358 or you can subscribe to my other channel uh, Randerson112358 and in that channel I talk about all sorts of things such as algorithm analysis, big O notation, data structures, um, all that type of comp computer science topics. And if you're not already, please become a supporter on Patreon. And thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it.